Now there's nothing more exciting than getting a brand new bike in the post and when the postman dropped off this GT sanction I can't wait to get it built and out ripping on the trails. So this is our guide on how to build your bike from a box. To build your new bike all you're going to need is a couple of simple tools. A 4mm allen key, a 5mm allen key, an 8mm allen key and a set of scissors to cut the cable ties and get rid of the cardboard. The first step is to get that box open. Just be careful if you are using a knife or when you pull up there's a couple of these staples. You don't want to get them caught in your fingers. It could lead to a nasty accident. Once you've got the box open, just look for any small packages that could be loosely around the bike. Take them out first and put them to the side. You're gonna need those parts later on. Once you've got that bike out of the box, well, you can just get rid of the cardboard and you can reveal your fresh bike. So it's now to taking that cardboard off. I've just got a pair of scissors to cut the cable ties and also get rid of some of the plastic outers and the cardboard as well. But you can use a set of cable cutters if you have them. So the first thing I'm gonna do now that I've got everything, I've got my seat post and saddle to go in first. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of grease and just put it around on the inside so it won't see to a later date. And if I do need to adjust it, it's gonna stay nice and smooth. So just give it a good coating. So I'm going to clamp that up and I'm going to come back to that later. So I've actually got a dropper post on this one, which I'm going to have to attach the cable to on the bottom. But I'm going to put the handlebars on next and then I'll pop it up in the stand. And on this one, I'm going to use a 4mm Allen key just to undo my race face stem and get it bolted up. It's actually already greased for me, so I'm not actually going to have to put any grease in the bolts. So I'm just going to attach that bar and stem now together. I'm not going to fully tighten it up, but I'm going to put all four bolts back together. Um, and you could use a torque wrench as well. Normally, they go up to about 5 to 10 Newton meters on each bolt. Um, just check out the manufacturer's guidelines before you do the tightening up, though. So I've now roughly assembled everything. I've put my seat post, put my bars on. I'm now just going to pop it up in the stand, and we can do the final prep and check over of it up there. If I do say so myself, it's a pretty trick-looking bike. I like that green and the yellow. It really works well. And complemented with the fork suspension, I'm looking forward to getting this finished and out on the trails. I'm going to get rid of these two wheel covers and then just attach that front wheel, but we all know how to do that. A bit of grease on the axle to keep things smooth, avoid anything seizing, and just make it that bit easier to take in and out. So I've got my axle all greased up, I've just put it on the actual axle itself, and that will hopefully prevent a whole pile of grease just running right down the axle and creating a blocky part at the end and either the hub or the end of the axle. When dirt sticks to that, it's not a very good combination. Just time now to put the front wheel in. Just make sure that you do tighten these ones up evenly. You don't want one to be tighter than the other, and that just won't displace the stress very well. So I'm just gonna assemble this dropper post now as well. Um, we've actually got a couple of videos already online, so they'll be in the description down below. Now this one's a cable operated one. So I'm just going to thread that through and put it all together. Next thing you want to do is just use this small cable guide. I've, I've got a Fox one here and it's just a small two and a half mil Allen key and already a cable guide. I'm just going to put a cable tie around the gear cable and also the brake hoses. And over time I'll be able to take that off once it's back in its right position. But because it's been folded up and in the box, the cables have got a slight kink to them. Nothing to worry about. You'll just put them back in the right place. So aside from the pedals, I've got pretty much everything assembled on the bike. I'm now just going to give it a quick check over, make sure that when it was in the factory, everything was tightened correctly and adjusted in the right manner. Whilst you're here, you want to just check that your disc brakes are aligned correctly. There's already been a video on that and the link will be in the description down below. But just make sure that the rotor spins freely. And if it does, just double check that all the bolts are nice and tight. Perfect. So you might have noticed these two washers that have been hanging off the crank. Well, these just go in between your pedals, so just cut them off. When you attach your pedals, you want to put one of them on the end of each one and put them between the cranks and the pedal axle. I'm now going to adjust the gears. On this one, they're actually already preset, but what you will find is that after a few rides, the cables are going to stretch and they're going to need readjusted. It's likely only going to be cable stretch, so you can just do that up at the top of the gears with the barrel adjuster. If you haven't already, then check out our video down below on how to adjust your gears. So we've now got everything checked over. We've got the gears and the brakes adjusted. So we're now just going to lift it down and we're going to finalize on the cockpit. So there we've got it. The bike's built out of its box and I can't wait to go and ride it. However, I'm just going to give you a quick disclaimer. If you aren't that confident with the tools, then maybe I'd recommend taking it to your local bike shop. They'll be able to advise and build it for you thoroughly. And whilst we're on safety, I've left my reflectors on for maximum coolness. Now, let's go and hit the trails and you'll see a lot of this bike on GMBN in the near future. So with the cockpit adjusted, that's my brand new bike built. I can't wait to get out on the trails and get ripping. 
For more great videos on GMBN, why not click up there for how to set your sag, which you'll need to be doing to get the suspension working perfect. And also, why not click down there for checking your tire pressure. As ever, don't forget to click right in the middle to subscribe and get a great video every day of the week. And if you enjoyed seeing me build my new bike, then give us a thumb up like.